Inside our cabinets, we store our food, our fine linens, our grandmother's china, the good stuff of our lives. And behind every cabinet we use lies a story, a story of its creation, the sanding, the staining, the craftsmanship, the passion. Walk with us on this journey as we discover the stories inside Capital City's cabinets. Okay, we're on the back side of where the finish room came out. This is finished products that's come out. We have a pile of tongue and groove here. Of course, this, this goes to our chapel project right across the way over here at Carroll College. Um, the ceiling in this place is huge. So this roughly, uh, we finished about 14,000 linear feet of this tongue and groove. We're about halfway done. There's about another, there's about another 14 to 15,000 feet of trim to be done. So, you know, that's roughly four, four and a half miles of tongue and groove that's going over the project. The ceiling is huge. So this particular project, we have approximately about 40,000 linear feet of trim that's going to go in this building. And that includes the ceiling, obviously, the door frames, uh, along with that will be the base, the window casing. Um, it's a substantial wood project. And like I said, once when you walk into it, it should be pretty impressive, but there's going to be a lot of wood. Um, How long does a project like this take? Like? Well, I started giving the contractor figures on this project a year and a half ago. Wow. So... Um, I was awarded the contract on this, on this last July. Um, it's actually running a little behind schedule. This stuff was actually supposed to go out in January, but we had a rather substantial winter here, and it really slowed down construction. And the process that they were doing, they took an existing building that used to be the Liberal Arts Building over here at Carroll College. They kept the building structure. They removed the roof. They put a whole new roof back on it again and then refurbished the inside. So they started tearing the roof off last October. And so they had a really, really hard winter getting the work done. So this particular project, once we start in, from start to finish, for me giving them initial plans, is almost two years long. So where are we? We are going to the Carroll College campus. We're on the Carroll College campus right now. And Carroll College has a lot of money because they are building everywhere. Um, there are four major projects on this facility right now. We're doing two of them. One of them is the Carroll College Apartments, which we've already looked at. We're driving by them right now. The second is the Carroll College Chapel, and inside of it has a tremendous amount of trim. And the roof has been taken off, and they put a new peaked roof on it. And uh, in the next month, the project is about two months from completion. So this next month is a busy project for us, a busy time for us getting just the wood, getting to this project. So here we go. So Dick Anderson, to save the historic value of the building, they removed all the roof, and they put a giant peaked roof on it because this building is really, really old and they've kept all the stone that's in it. Mm -hmm. 